What's up guys? Here's a tech here. And today I'm gonna talk about what is this thing? Oh, this is called a pet play. And what it does? Well, it does a lot of things. First of all, when you get started, the other hand so you will see better when I give you a turn see what it does ooh, ooh, ooh. and what it knows it does it came back and then it releases it now I you have a spring on it so yeah. right now it's supposed to go like that and then your cycle continue And then your piston is ready. Boom, and it shoots. So basically, what it does? Well, you know, you have your nozzle that is plugged into your tappet plate and into your cylinder head. And basically, your um, hub up unit is right there, like that. I mean, it's, it's straight like that, but yeah. So if you want your BBs to go up in your mag and go right there and be ready to shoot, it needs to go back. So that's why you have this little notch. Sometimes you can have, um, you know, data your chip or things like that. You know, um, some other games have a real thin, if you want, like the your chip, like that one. You know, it's a little bit bigger. Sometimes it helps with timings, um, but yeah, I don't have any delivery. Right now, laying around, but you can you can add the layer uh, if you want. So what it does basically, it helps uh, it get um, your tappet plate back, you know, longer. So another thing that you have if you have a um, mid cap issues is uh, mid cap syndrome. It's um, a stronger spring, you know, like the one we use uh, with DSGs or things like that. Um, in some uh, airsoft store, they selling them. Um, they are, you know, a little bit shorter and a little bit stronger. But you need a, a good tappet plate, you know, like you know, that's that's one for uh, DSG right there. But you know, that's a SHS reinforced. Polymer and nylon tappet plate, okay, anyway. But you know, that's a, a reinforced uh, tappet plate. Um, so that's something you need if you want to put a stronger spring. Um, and you want one that is, you know, highly, highly flexible. You know, yeah. You have some of them that are, you know, super hard. I like that one. If I try to. You know, to bend it like like the other one it feels like I'm gonna snap it yeah. you don't want that you want the flexible one like that one yeah that's that's a little bit hard but it's not too bad that's the one that comes with the that one XK box I think um, yeah so yeah what it does like I said when you cycle you know it moves your your hair nozzle back, so you know, a BB can enter there. And then, it get released. And there. And that hair nozzle is gonna seal against your upper rubber, inside your pop up unit, like that. And then, when the piston um, goes forward, it shoots all the compressed air into that bucking. You know, pushing your BBs in there and applying up and going down in your barrel and all that. So basically, that's the part that um, that that help um, you know your hop up to feed BBs. And uh, of course, the nozzle is a really important part. And um, you know you have different length, and different. Uh, you know, like for an M4 normally, it's like like that. This one has a 
102 ring, I don't remember. Yeah, 10 ring. That's a ZTI. Yeah, they are really good. But sometimes, you know, they don't fit well. So, you know, if you want to mess with that, I I think you should buy, you know, a, a couple of uh, different brands or different length of uh, air novel because sometimes, you know, um, they are not airsoft guns or, you know, it's a little bit, you know, try and, and see if it works, if not with another part or you know longer or shorter of course if you, the better is you know longer and if you have to modify it you know you just put the sandpaper there and you, know, you send the, just the end of it and you know, that's that's way easier because if it needs a longer one you know you have to buy uh, a longer one so or it's not gonna seal well but yeah, so that's what it does. And um, if if you put the gun together, gun back together, just grab. Give me one second. Okay, just grab you know something like this. Put trees in there and put trees all here and here. You know, it's gonna be way smoother um, and all that and also you have to check if you put a gun together if the gearbox is closed and tight if that's moving freely now you see it it moves freely in there so that's something you have to check if you want to put the a gun together or you know you have issues that might be an issues you know sometimes they are just too wider or you know uh, you know, QD uh, issue or they are a little bit of spec or whatever but you know just make sure they move freely into your gearbox and everything will be smooth so that's it for the tap at play I hope you guys enjoyed that was the airsoft tech take care and see you next time